Tweety Show, starring the Tweetings, Sammy, Spencer, Jeff, and Susie. Musical guest, the Tweetings, brought to you by the Tweetings. Now, here's the tweetings. So cute. Oh no. You did. I did not. Yeah, you did. I did not. Let's you did. let's not argue, okay? You looked cute. I don't know. How are you feeling? I haven't seen you all day and you had a rough day. Hi everybody. I'm fine. I just uh fell asleep. She's fine, Peter. He doesn't even know I had a it was just a scan dad, just routine, <laughs> it's fine. I had a dream about you, Spencer. Really? Yeah. You did? What was it? That um, we were uh, getting ready to do, to do the show. I guess I had a dream about the show also. Mm-hmm. And we couldn't find you. Mm-hmm. And finally, I yelled down to the basement. And you said, I don't want to come up. And I was like, why? What's wrong? Mm-hmm. And you said, I cut my hair. <laughs> and you came... Come coming up the, I was like walking down stairs, and you started coming up the stairs, and you had Randy Quaid's haircut from Kingpin. You ever seen that? Uh-uh. Are you looking it up? Yeah. You Isn't had it, it, it was like you had just looked back. No, no. And I was like, <sighs> oh no. <laughs> How dare you talk to our poor baby like that? (laughs) You had that haircut, exactly. He does Mm. have that haircut. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you could have that haircut very easily, I believe. I have had that haircut. And then what, Dad? Uh, I woke up. I felt really bad, though, but you, uh, for some reason, you just decided you needed a haircut. And That's weird as fuck. People love hearing about dreams. Yeah, it's an Amish haircut. Well, I will... <gasps> hi, it's... wait, Elaine says hi, or Elaine is here? Hi, Elaine, love you. Hi. She's not here, I don't think. Someone said she says hi. This show is past her bedtime. Well... She's a little person, you know, so she... Oh, my God, she has, Jeff. She needs more sleep than most people. She's t- she's very small. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> we're talking about Ellen. We're talking about Elaine. I know who we're talking about. Oh, God. Elaine's not, a like, a, a petite person. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> really the only area that I have any kind of bigotry and it comes through on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really. I'm just kidding. But that was the only other episode where I, I said something where I, well, I think it was the only other episode yeah, where I really about, felt terrible oh about something God. I said. And it just happened again. So what, I need to go see a doctor or something. Yeah. You really do. I need to have my, my height, uh, my height privilege checked. <sighs> I guess. I can't. What? You can't what? With you, I can't. I just, when I think of Elaine, I just think she would fit in my pocket. She's just such a tiny, petite person. Casey is definitely more than five feet tall. She said, I feel like I need more sleep because I'm five feet. Excuse me, short people don't need more sleep. Casey, to the rescue, thank you. Oh my God, Jeff. A, short people don't need more sleep. I didn't say short people. And two, you're 
an idiot. No offense. Well, that's well established. Spencer I, uh, is a deer. I tried to learn some more print songs. Yeah. I was embarrassed by singing some of the lyrics. Aren't you embarrassed by singing any lyrics? Mm, no, these lyrics are like I'm. I'm all sweaty and I'm all. I'm like I'm. I just co- didn't feel like I could sing. When doves cry and look at you, like you, if they felt like you would look at me, like what is wrong with you? What, There's some like sexy lyric lyrics that I just don't want to put. I just don't want to put that image in anyone's head. Oh. I think it's great when Prince sings those lyrics because. Who doesn't want to see his naked body? Should we end the show? (laughs) There's something wrong with that. We know someone... I wasn't listening, but we know someone who shoplifted um, Prince Love Sexy because they were too embarrassed to buy the album as a teenager. It was the only reason they shoplifted. They were so afraid of being... Keep someone thinking that they were gay that they should have lifted that record. That's a it's a it's a it's a teachable moment. I think. Yeah. It's like they learned a lot about shoplifting and and homophobia. Stop picking your nose. Anyway, how is everyone doing at home tonight this evening? Did everybody see when Bernie Sanders' wife told him to stand up straight? I sent that clip to Susie and said, this is just like the Tweety show. Stop it. so good. Enough. (laughs) It's a good Bernie. Stop it. I loved it. No, you can't see our kitchen right now. Are you going to read the speech, too? (laughs) Did he say that? I think... No, No, he didn't say that. Don't put words in his mouth. I got to read the speech. I think he was saying, I got to read the speech. I got to... I gotta do this. She was like, I thought she said something like, um, oh yeah, I'm gonna read the speech. Oh my God. Sharon, did you see it? I need to send it to you. You'll appreciate it as a Jew. Wisconsin's off the quarantine list? How'd that happen? No offense. I feel like I'm going to pee the what? entire Buddhist vegetable soup I just ate. Everybody should go eat at that restaurant, Amitabul. It's the most underrated restaurant in the city. It is, and it's, it's so been there for great. Forever. I hope it's it sticks a around. vegan restaurant in Chicago, and you should far, far north. It's not that far, God. It's very far. It's almost at the city limit, Mom. It's far for some people, but it's not far for us. It's uh, used to be Jim's Grill. Well, no, it's the same owner as Jim's Grill. It's the same food. It's, it's the, same the same chef. Yeah. Right, but it. It didn't used to be it. That was on Irving Park. I know. It makes you feel so good. And like you have to pee an entire bowl of soup out of your... You want to go pee? Well, yeah. it's a lot of soup. I didn't have mine yet because I fell okay, asleep. Okay, now that Spencer's gone, you can talk about him. Danny made pad thai for dinner. I hate you, Danny. Speaking of Danny, hi, Danny. Hi, fucking Charlesy. Hi, Kendall. Hi, Dad. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Ellen, if you're here. Hi, everyone else. Hi, everyone. Stop picking your face. I'm not picking my face. Stop touching it. Enough. 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 Stop. Oh. Yeah, my, have... s- my skin hurt my feelings. It made me tired and they had to go in my hand. Everything's fine, Dad. All right. Why did she I used to have a that? port. No, she doesn't have a port. I know, I miss it. Did that happen on the show? Did that happen during the time of the show? No. Was that longer ago? I think so. Mmm, bibimbap egg on top. Uh, Jeff, burping on the show? That's rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I've had a lot of barium and dye today. What? Why are you giving me a look? I'm sorry about the barium. <clears throat> it hurts my feelings. And the dye. The dye's worse than the barium. Mark loves the dye. He loves that heinous feeling when you have feel like you have burning hot urine coming out of your groin. It's so weird. Mm, burning hot urine. Urine. <laughs> urine. Amitabul. 
People are asking about that place. Yes. You can pick your wife, but you can't pick your face. Good one. Mm. Barium? I don't know, you guys. It was it's not that bad. Everybody like and then it dies worse than the barium. Spencer probably is commenting from the turlet. to sing that song in Edith Bunker's voice. But you can do that, but I just pictured that I did it. I'm not gonna do it. Is that the song you did in Edith Bunker? Why did that even yes. come to my head? No, I can't do it. It's too high. <laughs> cocky smile I've walked a million miles begging you to come with me in the spring why do you my dear delay what makes you laugh and turn away your hesitating beauty morally well I know that you're reaching to get married morally and I know how I'm twitching for the same thing morally by the stars and clouds above we could spend the last Quit your hesitating early. We could build a house and home where the flowers come to bloom. Around our yard, I'll nail a fence so high. Those boys with peeping eyes cannot see that angel face. My hesitating beauty. Well, I know that you're itching to get married, Norley. And I know how I'm twitching for the same thing, Norley. By the stars and clouds above, we could spend our lives in love. If you quit your hesitating, Norley. I, start, I sang that song one time where I just went, Are you sparkling cock? And I st oh. stuttered or stopped or couldn't. I just. Nice. It was not good. It's nowhere near nice. as bad. Do it in Edith Bunker. I can't do it that high. <laughs> Change the key. Uh. <laughs> oh, he said hesitating booty. My booty is hesitating. What was the song, the worst, like, vocal flub of all time? That you did? did you, weren't you on stage for it? Uh, I, yeah, I think so, but I can't remember. Ow. 
Paul probably pa- I think probably it was a remembers. Near, a near disaster. No. <gasps> really? What? Well, saying sparkling cock sounds like a pretty near disaster. Was that it? No. Oh. Oh, fuck. It almost came to me. It was like a big moment. It was a big moment. It was like one of the key moments in the whole performance. <laughs> And, um, I don't remember what it was. I'll remember it. People are remembering when you said box full of records, which I remember because I was there. You were there. It was on WXRT. Yeah. In the early days. (laughs) Dad Uh, sang box full of records. Nice. That's nothing. Not as bad as sparkling cock. Do you know that's what they call it unless it's from um, unless it's from a certain region in in France. That's a good one. Your <laughs> delivery was exquisite. Mwah! Same or somebody said it's it's <laughs> it's Asti Spooge Monty. Oh no. <laughs> No. Yeah, that's what it's called. No, uh-huh. stop. Unless it's, it's from in, in anywhere else, it's sparkling cock. Okay, Jeffrey. <laughs> Did well, something happen that uh, during Jesus, etc., at Red Rocks? Did you mess that up? Probably. Somebody proposed that. Love. <laughs> so, yes. No. You know what's so funny about this exercise is when you make a mistake on stage, the common refrain is, "No one's gonna remember." No, People I, remember here we are with a catalog of I remembered remember mistakes. All of them. <laughs> um, every song probably has at least one false memory. What do your socks say? Fat? Fart. It's okay to fart. I love that Sesame Street song. Um, I'm just going to sit here and think of it. Okay. Um. How do you remember every word? I have no idea. How do you remember every word? I don't. That's the whole well, point. You, ow! I'm fine. You remember lots of words. So does everyone. Hesitating just... booty has been messed up a lot, but I don't think it was because of cock, said Paul. Oh. Hesitating booty. What is that? It's like really, really amazing. Diane said at one living room show you were having a terrible time with one song. Yeah, that's common. A girl with colitis goes by. (laughs) 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 Um, Shit, what was it? Shit. Goddamn. Get off your ass and jam. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. It almost came to me. Is it on the tip of your thing? It's on the t- <laughs> I saw that, of- Una. Why do I still get notices when someone's going live? It's so embarrassing. It just said Tyler Cameron is going live. Who's that? And those show up in what I post. <clears throat> is that like a bachelor or something? Yeah, he's a... There it is again. Tyler Cameron is going live. <laughs> Where's this is more important to figure out what this song was? But I, I halt notifications. I think it should halt that, and it doesn't. Did you press the pause thing in Instagram? Yes, Spencer. What was I born yesterday? We've been to those, today's show 86. I was just making sure. Good. <sighs> oh my God, Jeff, you're really... Freaking out. I need to remember this. Was it Wilco or Solo Show? Una, who's so fucking hot, Jeff? I know. (laughs) What the freak? I think she's talking about Tyler Cameron. Obviously. And you. You're just as hot as Tyler Cameron. Mm. You are. Mm. Mm. (laughs) Just name songs. I'll think of it. Everybody. One Monday morning. No, 
It's good. It's something like that. You don't see the notifications the until I post this on no. YouTube. But since everyone watches about three seconds on YouTube, maybe it's okay. It's one of the most amazing, like, just fuck-ups. It's just, like, out of nowhere. Just, like, why? What happened? It I know. Was he's some... very handsome. Oh, hi. Um... <laughs> I had a shot in the arm today. Ooh, it wasn't shot in the arm. If Spencer was there, wasn't it a Tweety show? Yes. I don't... He can't remember it, though. Too bad Should Una wasn't we... there. She'd remember. Yes, S. Liam, he'll remember. Mm. Yes, yeah. he will think of it when the show ends. I think it was a Wilco show, though, actually, now that I think about it. Okay. Well, I mean, Jeff... I remember had... John looking at me like... Well, that sounds familiar. Now I feel like I was there. John... It, it might have been in no, Chicago. No, I remember John looking at you for something else. I think John probably spends a great deal of time looking at me on stage, wondering <laughs> how his life ended up. <laughs> like, look, I don't think that's what John's looking thinking. Looking at me. Yeah, I would remember. Like I should... I'm the man who fubs you. Did you say that? No. Nope. I know, I can't remember what he's trying to remember either. Well, guess what? <gasps> we might have to go off the air. Let me drink a... Maybe take my brain force. Did the audience <laughs> notice? Please clarify that. Yes, the audience. They noticed? noticed? Uh-huh. It was, not, it was not something so you could cover up. It was, it was like inappropriate or just funny because mistakes are charming we all like mistakes Unless yeah but this was like a complete ruining of company in my back no um hummingbird ah forget it it doesn't matter it'll come to you when you're not thinking of it Mm -hmm. so let's move on I'm a wheel no that doesn't matter you could sing anything in that I mean, someone's remembering an extremely inappropriate joke at a Golden Smog show. Everything was inappropriate at Golden Smog. In a good way. God, I love Golden Smog. She does. I do. Uh, you blame me for what? Danny says, I blame Sue, though. I don't know what he's blaming me for. Danny's a dick. Oh, my God, you really can't get over it. Should we end the show for life? Yeah, if we should. I'll never I'll I'll never recover if I don't remember it. Do you know today's our eighty sixth show? I might have said Way to ignore California me. Farts. <laughs> Big whoop. That sounds familiar. That's not so bad. Just like for no reason, like I, why did I do that? Familiar. That might be it. I like to rest. I have a head tonight on a bed of California farts. I think it was a Tweety show. <laughs> I'm like, what? Uh, that's really not that bad, Jeff. It's like toddler oh, material. It's not? No. What if it had been on national television? But Do you think my career could I have sustained it was be bad. that kind of hit? I thought it was going to be bad, bad. Um, so I'm sorry about the lull in this, uh, this show. You know what, Jeff? This episode? You can lull the entire hour if you want to. There's no rules. You don't have to play any songs if you don't want to, darling. I, yeah, I feel like a monkey in the zoo. Like, I have to... You don't need to apologize. I have to throw my feces around to get everybody excited. Why would that be any different from any other day? (laughs) Yeah, I don't need a camera in my face. (laughs) Play the Twin Peaks song. song. See, I can't even speak now. The Twin Peaks song? Ow! Oof. Everyone likes when you lull and go off on tangents. 
Spencer should do a song. I agree. Spencer, do a song on goth. Um, um, I didn't plan to do one tonight. Well, do one in the next time, though. That was about to start one. So? That was about to start one. I wasn't starting one. Oh. Ew, Reese's feces. Grody. What is wrong with these people? I don't know. Our clientele has really, really hit the skids. Oh, boo. (laughs) What? Skids? I wasn't. Like that wasn't mark? intentional. It wasn't. Well, then you're an idiot. No offense. <laughs> I know we don't really talk about him, but uh, the the guy that we don't talk about used the, <laughs> used the term. That guy's a real stiff in a tweet today. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, Old it's school. just beggars beggars disbelief. <laughs> Like, when's the last time you heard that? <laughs> I already forgot what you said. All right. Well, that's good. Oh, he's a real stiff. It's like Rodney Dangerfield or something. Like, oh, boy. Danny, you're such a snob. What's wrong with him? He just said, I only watch German TV now. Because <laughs> him and Charlesies are learning German. They already learned Norwegian. Hmm. Well... It's good. Michelle Obama's speech was fucking perfection. If you disagree with me, that's a hot keep it take. Yourself. Just kidding. It's a real hot take. Ooh! You're a stiff. <laughs> Susie with her cogent political analysis. Fuck you. <laughs> and here's my dad tonight. Susie, you shouldn't say fuck you to Jeff. <laughs> Un. The internet. That's terrible. What are people going to think? He has a point. Does he? And we don't even know that he said that. We're just in... He's going to say it. Trust me. Susie, the show was great. Except you should never say fuck you to Jeff. (laughs) You agree with her analysis? Yeah, I do. Totally. You don't think I should say fuck you? It's like you were roasting her. I, I don't even remember why I said it. See? I'm all discombobulated tonight. Let's go to bury him. Why did I say I think it? We're all sleeping. Oh, you said that my my assessment of Michelle was stupid. Yeah, you said I it have was to write political analysis. I have to type out a whole album's worth of lyrics tonight. So Davina is a twat. Are you guys talking about selling Sunset? What? Yeah, Dad did. Dad begs me not to swear every night, Danny. What? Pedro's good. Everyone's asking about you, Dad. He should come over and do... Uh, I mean, I, I think we're ready to shut this production down and, and do the spinoff, Here's Peter. <laughs> Here's, Here's Peter. Peter. And what about Pedro? That would be a good Ooh. title. What about Pedro? <laughs> uh, selling Sunset. Oh, my God. They're, I'm sorry. They're all kind of unlikable. What are you talking about? I'm trying to be nice. What? I mean, what am I talking about? It's an excellent reality show I've been watching. I don't watch television. I only watch German TV. Yeah, we gotta get Pedro over here again. Yes, I did watch all of season three, Una. I don't know. Wasn't I don't look at television. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sammy? Yeah. Sammy what you doing? Sammy The vegan kitchen food has you guys in your feelings. <laughs> I didn't even have any yet. Cause it has I, me in my gut feeling, I if fa- you know what I mean. Oh, is it making you have to make? Yeah. Does anyone else here say I have to make? And if so, are you Jewish? <laughs> I already know the answer <clears throat> to that. <clears throat> Jew macho. You're going to have to get up. Why? Because if we play the song that I was thinking we're going to play, you're going to want your children to sit where you're sitting. Okay. Well, Sammy's not even in the room yet. Mm. My husband only watches Hogan's Heroes. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Send me something. Thank you, Sharon. 
pretty amazing that Hogan's Heroes existed. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Crane. Oh. Fucking weird. Like, Someone just said thanks for the Better Things recommendation. I'm glad you're watching it. It's seriously the best show ever. Yes, Jews make. Yeah, may I recommend Hogan's Heroes? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I tell everyone the story about that band that came in to Lounge X and the guy ran in and said, I have to make? Mm -mm. Did I tell that? No. This band, like, pulled up in their van and one of the guys runs in and he goes, I have to make. And I go, you're Jewish? And he goes, yeah, are you? (laughs) (laughs) It's interesting. I thought it was hilarious. Um, Shut up, Jeffrey. Ow. Yeah, like, what if I just did... (laughs) <laughs> like there's this show I don't know if everybody anybody's seen it you guys really need to check it out F Troop <laughs> that is one of the most oh my god F Troop what I can't even troop? imagine how it would hold up it was really some of the worst it's funny because right before you said that somebody commented it's good but no F Troop oh really <laughs> <coughs> Hi, Sammy. Better Hello. Things is the best show on television. Wait, who just said Casey never heard the term <coughs> make before? You don't say you have to make when you're at her house? I don't. I don't. I've, I don't say it here either. Get out. I've he uses Christian euf- euphemisms. I must defecate? <laughs> Pardon me, mummy. I must defecate now. <laughs> mummy. <laughs> Down to Hammond, you'll never come back. In my opinion, you're on the wrong track. We'll always love you, but that's not the point.
say we meet again on down the line. Where is on down the line? How far away? Tell me I'm Go down to Hammond. You'll never go back. It's beautiful, you guys. Thank you. <coughs> you sound so good together. The harmonizing was gorgeous. Song? Hammond Song by the Roaches. <coughs> R O C H E S. Which has gained some crazy kind of popularity all of a sudden. It's like... Because uh, Whitney covered it. Whitney covered it, and so did Robin Pecknold from Fleet Foxes covered it the other day in some streamed performance. <laughs> but we've been planning on playing that song forever. But you guys learned it 30 seconds before the show started. Yeah. Sammy didn't know about those other covers when he put it on the queue. What? <laughs> Yeah, it's true. You guys gotta prove the... I'm proving your cred, bro. <coughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's great that everybody's playing that yeah. song. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Awesome. Beautiful. It is. Yeah. Oh, look at them. Yeah. Those lyrics them are like right up body. your alley, Susie. Those sound like, like lyrics from hair or something, almost. Don't they? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they you remind me of upstart. They remind me of Millie from Freaks and Geeks <laughs> because of the moral righteous, like the kind of high horsedness. Yeah, they're weirdos. The Roaches. Excuse me. The, that band, the, the they're weirdos. It was awesome. They're only, weirdos in a good way. Yeah, super weird, super good way. They were like on the earliest episodes of yeah. SNL. Uh, I think. I think they were on some early episodes. Mm -hmm. And they, um, um, that album is produced by Robert Fripp, which is pretty interesting. I have their old albums, Sammy. Mm. On vinyl? <coughs> on vinyl. <laughs> on vinyl? And as Danny would say. The epic guitar solo on that song is also Robert Fripp. Frippertronics. With Frippertronics. And Tony Levin plays bass on that record. It doesn't that count. No, Tony is in King Crimson. Oh. I think, and a, one of uh, some, another guy from King Crimson plays the uh, triangle. Simp triangle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you get to take a drink that I said I grew them inside my body because Jeff was speaking over it. You only get to take half a drink. Bingo. Oh, good. <clears throat> the streets of Rome are filled with rubble, ancient footprints are everywhere. You can almost think that you see in double. Dodging lions and wasting time Oh, those mighty kings of the jungle I could hardly stand to see them 
Yes, it sure has been a long, hard drive Train wheels are running through the back of my memory When I ran on a hilltop for a pack of wild geese Someday everything's gonna sound like a rhapsody when I paint my masterpiece Sailing around the world A dirty gondola Oh, to be back in the land of Coca-Cola But I left Rome Landed in Brussels That's the next verse, but We'll start there. On a plane ride so bumpy that I almost cried. Clergy men in uniform and young girls pulling muscles. Everyone was there to greet me when I stepped inside. Newspaper man eating candy. Had to be held down by big police Someday it's gonna be different When I paint my masterpiece When I Paint My Masterpiece by Bob Dylan. That was so beautiful. But we were doing the version from another self-portrait, but on guitar instead of piano. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it from the outtakes, though? Of another self-portrait? I was playing it off of the box set. But, um... There's different... He only does two verses on that version, right? I don't think so. I think it is three. Mm. Well, it was beautiful. Thank you. Oh, someone's cat was loving it. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Hi, Ohenya. Ohenya loved it. Thank you. Is she the one that requested it? No, it was a bunch of other people. Shirt off. Something, something sweaty, and I can't remember how those lyrics. <laughs> do it. No. Oh, please. You did what's the I, song? No, I'm not going to do that one. Do it. Nope. What it was. I am. This is what it, what it sounds like when doves <gasps> say no thank you. <laughs> Everyone's saying wildflowers. Oh, yeah, we were going to learn... Um, Tom Petty? Mm-hmm. And you didn't do it? You lied to the kids? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Jeff, that's not nice. They were all looking forward to it. Lied to the eight-year-olds? They're nine now. <laughs> Remind me how it goes. <laughs> Have the boys sing a Wilco song. Because that'd be cute. The mirror of tonight take you on a moonlight ride. There's someone I used to see. She don't give a damn for me. To the point we should just. Tomorrow. Um, you mean well, we're not going to play it tomorrow night. Oh, 
Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Mm -hmm. what, what did you suggest, though? Yo, <laughs> oh, Spencer, okay. gross. Oh, you said we should was, do. Um, you said we should do a walk or Joke lizard yawn. Yeah, I know, but it grosses me out. <laughs> So you think you're gonna take her away with your money and your cocaine? You know that one? Yeah, but not well enough to know. Yeah. You know what would be so cool? What's what's that? I was guys, saying what's that in my head, but I could realize it wasn't making any sound. If you guys learn songs before the show. Why? <laughs> this is that's what this show is. Do it's you like, know how to play I know. these? What if I well, I, I mean, I've been singing a lot of times. But That's okay. But the suggestion was for us to do. But uh, Nucky. What about?
Mom was filming. I was watching you playing the Bananagrams and Jeff, and Dad was shredding, and he's like trying to motion to me to catch his shredding, as were all the clients. But I see my little baby first. I'm Sammy. That's low for you. I'm. I apologize. I. I think it's still that, great. Yeah, that sounds great. Spencer's Thank turn you. to do yeah, a Tweety song or a whatever song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's time for you to sing my songs, boys. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Again? I hope, I hope we get a Bananagrams uh, endorsement. Yeah. Anybody out mm-hmm. there know I have any Bananagrams mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. connections? Why is everyone talking about Friday Night Lights? Is this song that played song on is it? in FNL. FNL. I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to um, yeah, right. get your attention because I wanted people to see me shredding. I just didn't want people to think that you were con- that you were like inept. I am. <laughs> it uh, reminds that's, me- the, that's a roundabout burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Jesus it, wow. Roundabout yeah. burn. Well, wow. it reminds me. Wasn't that roundabout? <laughs> it was quite a burn. It was. It landed, but. It reminded me. I watched a clip of Bob Marley on the old gray whistle. Myself and on old, old gray whistle test today, mm-hmm. when they do "Steer It Up," you know that song. Steer yeah, it up. of course. Mm-hmm. And they're showing. Um, there's a clavinet solo. There's a really awesome clavinet solo, and they're showing the guitar player the whole time. Uh, well, maybe the camera person. Was the parent of the guitar player. No, they're like, you can tell they're kind of like trying to figure it out, like going up and down the neck. Like, how is he doing that? But he's not playing. Jeff, that was exquisite shredding, but one of my babies was doing a a bananagram solo. (laughs) Yeah, I was wailing on the bananagrams. (laughs) Spencer, are you going to do a Tweety, Wilco, whatever the hell it's called song? I don't think so. What have we have we worn out so. our welcome yet? Why do you keep saying that? I just want to. You just haven't know. worn out your welcome. We should do redemption songs sometime. Oh. Yeah, that'd be great. You know that you know how to play it, right? Yeah, Bruce has a good point. I know that. What? It's the director, not the camera person, who was well, responsible for Well, I know, but I'm both. That. No, who was responsible for an old gray whistle test, Bob Marley? Well, unless the camera person went rogue and and they were like, "That's my baby." But who cares about that other thing? No, he's talking about multiple mm-hmm. camera cuts. Yeah, I know, I know. The button. But in this case, I am the cinnamon yeah, toastographer oh. and the director. We have a single camera sitcom. Yes, we do. So shut it. Single camera sitcom. I believe that it should no longer be cringy at all for anybody to listen to Bob Marley because it's awesome and reggae is awesome and it's not <laughs> just for stem stoners <laughs> if you're white and you listen to reggae there's a stigma is there? there's a strong really? stigma strong stigma yeah well i'm aware of it most when i have my window open while i'm listening to reggae yeah <laughs> but you have to, but you have to have your window open when you're listening to reggae Stop it. i only have a burn about reggae should i say it sure yeah reggae i love that song oh that's not it it's, it's a good song. You should write another one. That's what people used to say. That's not Fuck very... you. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> did you hear that? Oh, my God. That's... Oh, also, I recommend people... <clears throat> I had only ever heard Bob Marley compilation albums because they released so many after he died, but if you really listen to the records, pretty fucking amazing. That's Sammy, one of... I don't think there's a stigma about listening to reggae. Reggae is awesome. There's definitely a white reggae fan stigma, and it's probably deserved. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think that his... Um, it's like Jimi Hendrix. There's an estate that, that is kind of allowing a lot of, you know, posthumous... Oh, I can't boy. say that word. Posthumous. 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 That hurt. that hurt releases mm-hmm. like Jimi Hendrix mm-hmm. and yeah the albums themselves are are uh, a cooler cooler picture but it's also it's 
I don't like stigmas like that. You should be allowed to listen to I don't, and watch yeah, I don't and like know. whatever you want. I, that's I think, what I was saying. I think yeah. Bob Marley is eternally Ted Nugent. is eternally cool. Unless it's Ted Nugent. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's Play a, a Bob Marley song. It's eternally cool. I'm oh, a rebel. Do it. Do <clears throat> it. No, wait. Sorry, I didn't. What were you saying? Oh. He also was turned into, like, before the internet was turned into a flea market meme like Che Guevara. You know? Yeah. It's like a, just that's a where poster. The, that's part of where the stigma Sammy's referring to comes from because... He has been reduced to that college dorm room. We're not we're not icon. telling anybody anything they don't know, right? Yeah, no, yeah. I don't think so. I Everybody recommend Exodus. That's my fave. Um Yeah. Yeah, and and somebody mentioned some Studio Marley? One. Somebody mentioned Studio One dub, obviously great. Mm. I would sing Soul Rebel. The show is over. It's 10 p.m. Fucking Rastafari. We started late. Oh, we did. Yeah, we started at 9.02 or 3. See you in the morning, sun. (laughs) Uh, I've got work to do. We started a little late, Paul. (laughs) See you in the morning. <laughs> See, look, the stigma comes back. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I'll have you know that your father was in a band with two members that had dreadlocks. I'm aware, and I'll have you know your mother worked at a Rasta bar. sort of. Rasta but ba- the reason Rasta it would have been cringy to do that song isn't. It's mostly just because the in- instrumentation is so important and doing it on an acoustic guitar is so... Oh, really? I, I feel like... I, I, you need the Moog. I feel... Like, frankly, I feel like it's a... It might be the song selection. Like, I think if one is going to cover Marley, you might need to do a different song because it's like only knowing the hit. You that's... Know? Yeah, that's but who cares? kind of early, beautiful the instrumentation. Is We're going to get the warning still... in a second. Just so you know. Mm-hmm. Isn't that from that clip on Old Grey Whistle Test? Isn't it? Warning! From, oh shit! Isn't it Spencer what from like I... his first trip to England? I think so. And they like Spencer they left early Sandra. because it was cold and they hated it. Yeah. Wave. <clears throat> See me. Bye. Bye. What was that? If you was a bird and I was a fish, what would we do? I guess we'd wish for. Incarnation re- <laughs> Incarnation Wouldn't it be a sensation to come back to Incarnation We're gonna do a reggae version of it. No, we're not. Oh boy. That's gonna make a mark. Is that you're done playing it? Oh my god, everyone's bolting. Bye everybody. Everybody's trying to leave. Everyone's humiliated. Oh yes, Spencer. <laughs> Yes. Bye, everybody. See you Thursday. Say bye, Jeff. Say bye, Jeff. Goodbye. You know. <laughs> <laughs>